What did she do? Oh! Where? Oh! Hello there, everybody. I'm Anaji, and this is FMV Reviews, and we are here for the U Season 3 finale. Yes, we have finally made it here. It's been a wild ride. Let's try for another baby, chill. What? My man's about to do some, some reckless stuff right here. Yo, she knocked him out and didn't even try to move him or anything. Oh my god. I are officially separating. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not great either, but I thought you were about to confess. I love you. Whoa. I love you. I can't believe we're actually doing this. <laughs> I can. <laughs> he said, I can, because I orchestrated it. You better hope love don't find out. She might uh, ruin that plan. This man is dancing. This will be the last ugly thing I Bro, ugliness follows you where you go, dog. Too much. Dude, you might be paralyzed, dog. Uh oh. Damn lockup. What? We didn't see love see that moment, huh? Joe's cheating. But love, I. <sighs> You're a fucking monster. What? The only murderer in this room is. What? Nah, love. What? Kind of twisted girl. Come on. Don't ruin these two guys' lives. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Also, my, like, what was his plan to leave her? Because she seems like the kind of person that if you left her and took her son, she would say that you did all the murders, which you did do. You did a lot of them. Not this season as much, but last seasons. So how would that go, bro? You, your only option would really be to kind of to kill her. Love. Maybe you love her. I mean, she know, bro. Just say it. I just want the truth. Just say it, dog. I know that you cheated on me. You got a lot of nerve. He's just a kid who you were having an affair with. Ooh. And deal with this like two adults. The two murderous adults. Meaning we don't have to do anything impulsive. Your wife is impulsive. Loki, you are too. Give each other the chance to be happy. Bro, if she killed her husband, she's not just gonna let you dip. This time I'm letting it absorb through the skin. Oh. Oh, she know you, dog. She know you. Look at him. He's like, oh, oh God. This is why phones with face ID I don't believe in that. Use a code. Don't use face ID because someone could unlock your phone if they needed to. Love, you left the door unlocked? What is up with people not locking their doors, bro? I be locking all the doors. Joe, what did she do? Oh! Oh! And you sat in my house and you said nothing. Yes, Joe. You are the villain, dog. Enjoy whatever love does to you. In a different movie, this guy would be the hero, technically. And I did coke every weekend. <laughs> what the heck? And I didn't fall in love with you because you were smart. Oh, ooh, ooh. And your best dad <laughs> did a best kiss. Don't forget 6% body fat. <laughs> Found a fat, he's asleep. I don't care. I mean, I care about my son, but I don't give a crap. Oh, no. See, Joe, you just don't ruin this woman's life, dude. Oh, my God. Come in. Yeah, no, I should probably... There you go, girl. You'll come in here so we can speak like adults. Dip. Dip out of here. Like, we will have this conversation on the porch. Okay, sure. I don't give a damn. I don't trust you. It's something in me that's attracted to toxicity. He's distorting things. No. Toxic. She's saying what's true. Listen to the instincts, girl. Mom. Ooh. Oh God. Okay. So I come on. How does how has no one noticed that he's right there? Like she didn't hide him. She just put him right in the dining like the dining room. Don't you kill these people. Run, girl. Run. No, you knew it was a trap. You would have said anything to get out of here. No, Joe, you are delusional. She did not know what was happening. The insanity you drive me to, Joe. Shanity she drove you to. You poisoned your husband originally. What? You were already crazy. I started to question every single thing about myself. You should question more. Kill people. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh! Put a voice in my head. 
told me to take it before you played your hand. Okay, it's kind of cheating. That's cheating a little bit, storytelling wise. Dang, just that quick. Just, dude, poison has got to be like one of the worst ways to die if you realize what has happened. Ooh, wow. She had a whole other kid. Oh my God. Bruh, she would have had a whole other family. Man, it's like they set Joe up to just fail, bro. Like, he just, ugh. Hey, Joey, it's me. Be good. Be good. Bro, you better hit a dash. You're like, Joe, your baby's right. Where you going, player? Where's your baby? Yes. Wait, if you're blind, should you answer the door like that? I would not answer the door like that. I have an intercom system. <laughs> Bruh, if Joe walks through this door and murders these two, I, I, uh, what are you doing, Joe? Oh, God. Oh, whoa. <sighs> there's some, there's some flaws in your plan, dog. Like, Matthew Angler's still there. Theo knows about you. The Conrads are alive. And let's not forget that Ellie is somewhere out there, too. And has Joe been continuing to send her money? Because... Huh? Name their new baby. Toxie. You, you named your daughter Toxie? You. Marianne. I looked for you. Oh, God. But you and Juliet yeah. Phone number Stay away from them. Address. You leave that black woman alone the the with her child. Night. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Did he go to Paris? What is wrong with you? I'll search the world if I have to. Oh my god. Wow. You season three? That was a pretty wild ride. That was a pretty that was a pretty wild ride. Um Huh. I don't think there's like a whole lot of seasons of the show left that they could do. I could see them doing a last season. And it would be kind of interesting if we were seeing it from, like, Mary Ann's perspective. And Joe is very squarely, like, the villain. Like, we're not seeing it from his perspective anymore where he's coming to look for her and he does find her. And then it's just her trying to fight him. I could see them doing that, but I don't see them getting many more seasons out of this show. I mean, there's a way they could do it, but I think maybe they should do, like, one more season at best. And then it should be done. Um, but, yeah, I thought this was pretty solid. I thought it was entertaining. Um, I definitely think there's some moments with the writing where I saw it's going, which is not necessarily bad. Like, usually in a show, you kind of want to see where it's going in a way that makes sense. But there were some moments in here that they definitely took some kind of easy turns with the writing to get things to happen. Especially towards the this episode, I think there was some stuff with the whole, like, Wolf's Bane and all that stuff. I, think that, I was definitely a little, I was a little wonky. I was a little, eh. But, yeah, I think this show is pretty entertaining. I'm kind of struggling with the rating right now for the season. You know, I'm just going to go with my feeling. This is like a low 8. It's entertaining. It's not super deep, though. And I do think some of the writing is a little... a little easy turns. And I do think three seasons in, you is starting to... I don't really know how ways they can make it fresh anymore. I thought this season was interesting with him having love there. But now that it's kind of reset itself, they could just keep kind of doing what they did the first two seasons. But... To be honest, I wouldn't be particularly interested in watching that. I do like uh, the guy who plays him, Penn Badgley. I like him. Uh, I hope he gets more work outside of this. Um, yeah, so I think with that, uh, that's using season three. Thank you for watching and leaving any comments if you did. And yeah, look for my other reviews um, coming out. I have some stuff planned for November and December. And now... I had a whole thing planned for October before this, but it got kind of messed up. But uh, I'm just going to move that to February. I'll let you figure out what that's going to be. But until then, I will talk to you all later. Peace.